Hello everyone. It's 3 or 3 p.m. Um, for me it's morning because when I woke up I was not feeling well. Fever, uh, coughing, con chest congestion. Um, it's just a cold. It's not COVID because you know, no sore throat, uh, no gastrointestinal problems. Um, but yeah, I haven't eaten anything today. I haven't really had any strong desire to eat anything. So, you know, when the obese guy that got the whole tape belly um, doesn't want to eat anything, you know he's not feeling well. But I wanted to talk real quick uh, today about how I would like to move past my trauma from school. Now, I had a lot of bullying I went through at um, Burger King from managers and co workers, and managers encouraging co workers to bully me. And what helps me move past it for the most part is um, I talked to HR eventually about it and they seem to be willing to go through uh, to do extra training to prevent it from happening again and that really gave me assurance that it's not going to happen again so if I knew that Fort Wayne Community Schools were was actively trying and uh, making solid attempts to prevent other kids from going through what I went through I uh, had a plan was acting upon it to prevent other kids from going through what I went through, you know, then I would. But I mean, it's like when girls are allowed to public ridicule the size of your genitals, when boys are allowed to touch you inappropriately, you know, that kind of stuff sticks with you for a long time. I mean, I've been out of there for 12 years. And I still have nightmares. I wake up from in the middle of the night from it, you know. Even with three medications I'm on. I'm on three medications just to deal with the effects of what I went through 12 years ago, you know. So, that really messed me up. And if I just knew that Florida Community Schools was actually actively trying to prevent other kids from going through what I went through, I would be able to move past it, I believe. Like, uh, you could say there's a policy, but I mean, I'm sure there were policies back then against inappropriate touching. I mean, it's like, that's, and they're, under any law, that's the sex crime. I mean, under any law, I was subjected to both sexual assault and sexual battery. And if you were to tell me back then the foreign community schools didn't have a crime, didn't have a policy against you know, sex crimes, I'm pretty sure that that just wouldn't make sense. So it's like, you could say, well, we have a policy. Well, they had a policy back then. You know, when I was a senior, they had, there was, by law, they could expel people for bullying, but the girls were still allowed to publicly ridicule the size of my genitals, you know? And senior year, when there was the law that they could expel bullies, you know, I was threatened with expulsion myself as a victim when I re when I reported this kid touching me inappropriately. It's like I'm re I'm a victim of sexual battery. I'm reporting sexual battery as a victim and you're threatening me with expulsion. You know, that's how messed up it was. And if I just knew that Foreign Community Schools was taking active steps to prevent this from happening again, I probably would be able to move past it quite a bit. But you know, after I left um, for community schools, there have been events where kids were bullied again, and for community schools tried to cover it up. Um, an instance was this is a really good example. There was a kid being bullied at recess horrendously, and the staff even knew about it. So, what they did was instead of sticking up for the kid and stopping the bullying, they denied that kid recess. So basically, the kid that's being bullied, they took his recess away. They let the bullies have their recess, but the kid that was being bullied, they took his recess away. And then they had that kid that was being bullied help the janitor clean. So the kid that was being bullied, they took his recess away, and then put him into child labor for the school. And the only reason that um, the kid, anything was done about it is the kids that are bullying him video uh, recorded it on their cell phones and put it on YouTube. So that says, it's like, okay. Then they start doing something about it. It's like, okay, does the kids, or do they just care about their public relations? Does do they just do they really care about the kids, or do they care how they they look in the public eye? Because it's like, okay, so this kid was being bullied. You took away his recess, 
and you pull him to work for you, and then when the public finds out he's being bullied, then you do something about it. That shows that you just care how you look, and the public side instead of how you look, uh, instead of caring about the kids' well-being. So I think if um, I just knew that if foreign community schools was actively, you know, doing things to prevent kids from going through what I went through, I would be able to move past the trauma a little, quite a bit. I'd be able to move past what I went through. Uh, it would still bother me a little bit, but it would just be such a relief, um, like Burger King. I mean, Burger King still bothers me a little bit, but I've been able to let so much of it go, and I think it would. I'd feel a lot better if I just knew foreign community schools was just doing, was just seriously acting upon uh, plan, acting upon plan, and didn't just have a plan, but was actually, you know pursuing and acting upon a plan to prevent kids from going through what I went through, then I would probably uh, feel a lot better, I'd be able to do a lot better, but the fact that I just, it just seems, um, it just seems incredible to me, it seems like it just can't be true that I can't let it go, you know, if, if only I could understand that they were, if only I could really see that they were actually trying to do things, then you know, then I could probably like a lot of it go, and I could do a lot better in life. I feel like if I just knew that they were actually trying to uh, prevent what I went through, then I would do a lot better in life. I could probably get my life in a lot better order, but unfortunately, right now I can't. So, anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope you can maybe help me with ideas of how to deal with this, but... That's where I'm at today. Um, thank you for watching. Have a good day.